Hey guys and welcome to my new video. I will show you how to replace the LCD screen on the LG K120E or the K4. If you need any parts or tools, you can buy them directly from my video description link. This will also support my channel. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe. So first remove the back cover, the battery cover, which is made from plastic. It's very, very easy to remove. And then remove the battery. Then you will see there is a small plastic which will cover the flex cable for the digitizer and the LCD screen. So first remove this plastic and then disconnect the flex cable for the touch screen and the flex cable for the LCD screen. Carefully of course, don't crack anything. So now we are going to heat the top of the screen a little bit. Uh, I usually use about uh, 190 degrees, which is around 350 Fahrenheit. And um, I'll go around like maybe for 2 or 3 minutes. This will soften the glue and then you can easily remove the screen from the middle frame. Because the middle frame and the screen, uh, there are no any screws. It's only glue around the screen. You will see later. Head, head, head the screen, head the screen today. Oh yeah. So, we're getting close. The LCD screen is getting warm and the glue around also. You can try with um, and touch the screen and see if it's very very hot then you can stop heating. If it's uh, only warm then you can continue. So now try to make a gap between the screen and the middle frame. You can use your fingernails or you can use some plastic tool which you will see uh, in a couple of seconds. Just uh, try to lift it from the middle frame, uh, but uh, just uh, really slow. Don't break the, the inner LCD. I mean, it's already broken, but in my case it was not. So if you just need to tear down the, the phone, just to replace some camera or whatever, you know, just be careful. So I use uh, some plastic tool here try to make a bigger gap and then I will go around to uh, just uh, like um, uh, try to make a bigger gap and uh, to remove the screen from the frame. This glue it's not, it's not that strong so So you can try to uh, maybe lift a little bit the screen from the frame just very slowly and just very carefully maybe for a millimeter or two See? The screen just came off so the glue is not that strong There we go Just a little bit more Okay, okay, there we go so we remove the screen from the middle frame. In the middle frame, inside, you see the motherboard. So the motherboard, uh, we can detach or take it out with a small plastic tool. Just uh, in the corner, there is like some, um, some, uh, how to say, like uh, the motherboard is just uh, it's not sticked but it's making click click you know what I mean I don't find the word really now so you will see you just have to like lift it or um, just make a gap again like put the plastic tool inside try to lift it a little bit just slowly and you will see this is the bottom um, 
at the bottom side where you will have to pull it up a little bit because of the um, charging port So from the right side also put the plastic tool inside and try to lift the motherboard a little bit. Always work carefully, don't bend something or you can damage the board. It's very fragile. I'm using here a very very small uh, uh, screwdriver, even screwdriver, because there is only a small gap in side try to help myself with with this screwdriver the screwdriver okay so okay you see I did just pull it up and then remove it from the middle frame so now we remove the um, main rear camera if it's necessary just in case I will show you how to do it just um, unplug the connector this is the front camera so and this is the rear camera behind uh, on the on the back side there is all, uh, a small sticker which you have to like uh, lift or remove so there we go this is the sim tray reader uh, in case you will have to replace it you just detach the I mean you just disconnect the connector you can heat this thing up a little bit you heat it maybe for one minute or two minutes and then you maybe can uh, with a knife or a small screwdriver you can lift this up and replace the, the, the reader so I put back the cameras the front camera and the back camera I will reconnect them again and put the motherboard back into the frame there we go just start from the bottom side um, like take it in from the bottom, the bottom side where is the USB connector the USB charging port and then press it inside all over around you will see, uh, hear some click click in every corner when you see that the motherboard is even inside and everything is clear then it's okay So now we will have to remove the um, two plastic um, things from the LCD you see on the top one and on the bottom one uh, we will remove this and then we will put this inside the middle frame on the motherboard because this will later prevent to break the LCD it's like it's like some um, um, plastic alignment or whatever so we slowly lift it up once heaten up remove it and then we place it in the bottom we'll have to turn it around to fit it in so you just, um, you will see, first turn around and then we go from the top in the bottom, inside, just between the gap, you put it between the gap, okay? You see when it's fitted and it's even, then it's okay. We do the same thing with the upper plastic, remove it first, 
OK, turn it around and then we put it inside the frame. So I'm using here uh, some glue uh, to stick the screen later into the frame just a little bit around and around. We go around the frame. This glue, the name of the glue, by the way, it's B7000. Uh, you can find uh, the link to buy it in my video description, like all other stuff and things. So uh, just be sure to work very fast because this glue is like um, maybe in two minutes it's already hard. Not that hard but uh, it's not that sticky anymore. So be sure to work fast. So we put the LCD screen inside the frame. Tick, 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 tick. That should be fine. Press it inside. Should be even around. Must be perfectly seated. You can press on both sides a little bit and then just wait. So the glue will become stronger. So now I will put some uh, weight on it and wait maybe for 5 minutes so the glue will become stronger and um, yeah, that's the main reason I put the weight on it. So the LCD will be fixed inside the frame. So the five minutes are over and now I take back all the weight which are some computer hard drives by the way. Let's check if everything is right. Uh, you have to be like really really carefully with this uh, flex flex cables. This one on the bottom is uh, for the touch screen and the other one is for, for the picture, for the LCD screen. So this must be very very good fitted because if it's not you will have problems with um, connecting the flex cable to the connector on the motherboard. So maybe before gluing uh, the screen inside be sure, uh, just try, put the screen inside the frame and see if the cable is long enough and uh, well assembled that it can fit to the uh, to the motherboard. Okay. The measurements must be perfectly fitted. Otherwise, you will have problems to connect the connector with the motherboard. So we are done with the connectors. We put back the protective plastic for the connectors inside the middle frame now I'm going to heat up the old LCD screen and remove this um, black sticker and also the white sticker with the serial number and the IMA I will just put this uh, old stuff to the new LCD inside. Just be sure to fit it perfectly. 
otherwise you will have problems with um, putting the battery inside later. So, this is it, battery inside, back cover on it, and turn on the phone. We are done, hooray! Thanks for watching guys, thank you very much. If you have any questions you can comment below, I will try to answer them. If you want to donate and support my channel, many thanks. The link is in my video description. Thank you, and subscribe for more videos. Bye!